1 p.m. Uh, we're getting a late start here. I had to go to the dentist this morning. I biked there, so then on the way home, I stopped at a couple places to run some errands because I'm looking for a dress to wear to YouTube Fan Fest when I'm hosting it on August 13th. So I haven't eaten. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. But we're gonna do what I ate in a day, but it's starting at one o'clock. And look at this. John went somewhere last night and he got a vegan donut with coconut bacon on it. And I think he left it here for me. So I'm gonna make some coffee, eat half of that. I'm gonna save half for John. And then I'm gonna make some breakfast. I have some leftover tofu scrambles, some tortillas. We can have breakfast tacos maybe, something like that. Um, I'm starving, I wanna eat everything. So we're just gonna heat up the flat top and I'm gonna do my leftover tofu scramble on half and tortillas on the other half. We got this, I made this yesterday. So we'll get that heated up over here. Put just a touch of oil here for the tortillas. Okay, so on top we're gonna do green onion, tomato, avocado, some kale, and I'm gonna do some refried kidney beans on top of the tostadas. I don't know if we need to really heat this up. So we've got our kale, tomato, and green onion. Now we'll add avocado. Okay, and I have lots of cilantro. And we'll add a bit of hot sauce. What? Okay, so the coffee's done. Do I eat the donut first or last? I'm gonna eat it last. Okay, normally I wouldn't go that long without eating, but that was just the circumstances. Oh crap, I gotta get a picture of these. Cover photo. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna eat these, but we'll give it a go here. Mm-mm, mm. -mm. mm. Now, coincidentally, today on Hot Fart Foods channel, we made vegan ceviche tostadas. Similar looking dish, different stuff on top. And now we've got breakfast tostadas. Tacos, tostadas, easiest things in the world to make. You can put whatever you want on them. They're our favorite things to eat, John and I. He'll be jealous, he's not eating this right now. I feel like I should tell you a story. Well, on my way back from the dentist, I stopped into Holt Renfrew to see if I could find some kind of dress or something. Did not. Everything's too high in there, I don't like it. Mm. And then last night I ordered two things off ASOS and one dress from BCBG, which was on sale for like $30. So those will hopefully get here in a few days. And then, uh, well, I'll show them to you. I don't even really know what I'm supposed to look like. I feel like I have to dress kind of glitzy since I'm gonna be on this big stage. It sort of looks like the Much Music Video Awards that I used to host, but this time it's with YouTubers. Basically the stuff I ordered, I hope it fits, but I won't know. And if those don't work, then I really don't know where else to shop. Because I can't just wear like, everyday typical clothes, like Zara, H&M, whatever. I have to get something that's like extra special, like a statement outfit. I also checked this vintage store on Dundas called VSP. It's like consignment designer wear. I tried out a couple things, but they didn't work. So I'm mainly looking for a dress. If you have any ideas, let me know. I used to have a stylist that would help us pull outfits when I worked at Much Music, but I don't have that anymore. So I have to do that myself. I really don't have time to be like running all over the city looking for a dress. 
not complaining. <laughs> I'm really hungry, but I actually don't think I can eat all of these. I'm pooped. I think I biked like, I don't know, 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers. Actually, let's see how far I biked. I biked 14 kilometers. I'm making a mess and I'm a slob. <laughs> Anyway, everybody's been asking me if I'm going to the vegan beer festival or vegan food and beer festival in Toronto on August 13th. That's the same day as YouTube Fan Fest, so I won't be going to that. Can you believe there's a vegan event and a YouTube event happening on the same day? How am I supposed to choose? Well, I didn't have to choose. <laughs> I got hired to host the Fan Fest. Uh, so come on out to that if you're interested. It's at night, actually, so you could come after vegan festival. I can't because I have to do rehearsals all day, so um, that's why I'm not going to both. I'm picking the stuff off the uh, flat top here. And then there's another Toronto Vegan, Toronto Veg Festival, September, it's in September. I'll probably go to that one. I mean, I'll go if I'm here. It's more like, am I gonna be busy working or am I going away? I don't know, but if I'm here, I'll go. And I'll give you notice what day I'm gonna be there. So if you wanna come hang out with John and I, you can. I've also been thinking about going to my naturopath for like an IV. Um, they do immune ones, energy ones, so they do hangover ones. Or like a B12 IV, a B12 shot. Um, I've been taking my liquid B12. I mean, you saw my last Ask Lauren, I'm talking about how I'm unmotivated. I feel like I'm just like in a bit of a lull right now. I'm low energy. Um, I mean, I've been eating pretty good, I think. Um, anyway, so I feel like I just need a boost. I don't know if anyone's ever, I'm basically telling you this because I'm wondering if you've ever gotten one of those. Have you ever gotten an IV treatment for like vitamins and minerals or a B12 like injection? Let me know. My naturopath does it and I found this like health clinic somewhere that is B12 injections. Can't hurt me, right? Let's try this donut, shall we? I'm gonna save half, so I'm gonna cut it in half. It's day old, so it's not super soft. Okay. It's got coconut bacon, icing, I don't know. Well, it's pretty good. This is just the problem lately I've noticed with donuts and it could be because of the humidity here in Toronto. Is they're too bready. They're not like a donut. I would say this is like a bagel texture. I think it's from a place called D Bistro here in Toronto in the Bloordale area. I've never actually gone there. John went there last night to go see one of his friend's bands play. And I guess they had donuts there. I'm still eating it. <laughs> But donuts are a very particular type of dough. Donut. And usually they're just not fluffy enough. Okay, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my eating alone. Not in front of the camera. Cause I feel like I need to sit. Well, I ate three. There's one left and I can't eat it. Snickle. Okay, people, it's about 5.20. And what am I trying to say? I'm a little foggy. You know what? I think I'm getting my period soon. TMI, but that's what's happening. Because uh, I got a headache and been a bit foggy for two days. It just feels like that's what's about to happen. Actually, I know it is because that's what it says in my calendar. But I know also based on my food cravings. Last night, I ate a whole box of mac and cheese. <laughs> to myself, John was not here. And uh, I thought, I mean, I was full when I ate those tostadas earlier, but now I have this like weird, like ravenous hunger and all I can think about is sugar. I mean, probably because I ate that donut, but also for the last like two and a half days, I've just been like wanting sweet stuff, which I never want, like dessert and stuff like that. And then I remembered that I have this coconut um, milk, full fat coconut milk that's solidified into cream and I had mixed lime juice with it. 
um, for something and it's been sitting in the fridge and it's now like solid and it tastes like really good on its own. I'll show it to you. Oh, I know why I have this because I made avocado crema the other day for our tacos. Yeah, I think it's fine. So it's like solid, full fat coconut cream with lime juice and it's really, really good. And I wanna make like a coconut cream or like a lime cream like pie or something like that. So I have this, uh, a little bit of coconut ice cream in the fridge. So I'm gonna re-blend this into almost like coconut ice cream. I just thought of this while I was at the computer because I was basically pinning and making photos and like scheduling my pins for Pinterest. And then I started like thinking about food and recipes and then I was like, oh, I wanna make a dessert right now. So um, I also wanna make like a graham crust and then we'll put it in the freezer and we'll eat it later. Or if it's cold enough, we'll eat it now, but I think it will be too liquidy. Um, okay, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. So for the, uh, for the crust, I'm gonna use these gluten-free vegan graham crackers. And I bought these because I have to do a s'more recipe coming up, but I'll just have to buy more because now we're gonna use these. And I'm gonna crush them up in a food processor to make my graham crust. And I'm gonna add, I don't have any coconut oil here, but I have coconut butter. So, these aren't bad. It's really hard to find vegan uh, graham crackers. I've only ever found them in the US. And when I'm in the States, I like buy a bunch, but these I found at um, Metro in the gluten-free section. a whole bunch here because I only have a little bit of coconut milk. Let's whirl that together. The camera's shaking. It's like leaning on the floor. Not really crushing these that well. Okay, we'll add some of this coconut butter. It's basically just like the fat of the coconut. It's harder than oil. I think the graham crackers could be a little sweeter, so I'm gonna add some brown sugar in there. Or actually, let's add coconut sugar. Just making this up. I wonder if I should melt this. It's not really sticking. Probably need more of this. You know what, I'm just gonna use regular vegetable oil to make it stick together, because I don't really feel like melting this. Just a little bit of this vegetable oil. Like, it's less than a tablespoon. Or maybe I do need dates. No, the oil seems to make it stick. Okay, so I'm going to press the graham crust into a spring form pan in an even layer on the bottom here. It requires a full cake pan. And then I'll bake it, because that will melt the oil, and then it should just sort of solidify. Like that. Actually, I better not make the filling at all until this is cooled off. Oh, so now this could take a while. Okay, stand by. Okay, so I baked it for about 15 minutes, and it's nice and golden. Gotta let it cool. It's pretty hot, so I'm not gonna put it in the fridge immediately. I gotta gradually cool it because I don't want it to crack. But I might just put it in the fridge to speed it along in a few minutes. Then we'll make the filling and then we'll pour it in once it's totally cooled. Uh, and also, because I'm impatient and waiting, I'm eating some dill pickle potato chips. Now these are from Whole Foods. They're that 365 brand. And they're vegan, which is a rare find to find dill pickle chips because usually there's like buttermilk powder or like milk powder or something stupid in them. And these are vegan, there's a vegan symbol on them. And it's really random because when we went to Whole Foods to pick up some stuff, which we don't normally go there, but we were there and we went, they had this whole big shelf full of these things. It seems like they were like brought in from the US because then they put this like weird sticker over top. I don't know, it was like they were on, they were on special. They were very expensive. They were $6 for this one bag. 
and that was on special because I feel like they're like a limited edition. Like we're not really supposed to have them in Canada, but they like accidentally got shipped to the store or something. But yeah, they have these like weird stickers over the label. Anyway, they're amazing. If you can find them where you live, uh, go get them. Well, if you like dill pickle chips as much as I do. Click the thumbs up if you like dill pickle chips. <laughs> so now we're gonna make this filling. So we're gonna blend this all together. This is the full fat coconut milk with lime juice that I had left over that inspired this whole thing. So that's going in a blender. We're gonna add coconut ice cream. solid actually I should have thought it it's just so delicious that's what it's called now this stuff's already pretty sweet we might not need to add sugar at all I'm gonna add a little more lime juice with a leftover lime I have in the fridge probably more and also um, zest now these aren't key limes so we can't really call this a key lime ice cream pie, but we'll call it a coconut lime ice cream pie. Some zestaroo in there. We'll just do another half of a lime. Oh yeah. Now I'll blend it and see how sweet it tastes, because we might need to add more, I don't know. Do you ever notice that when you're cooking, you probably wash your hands like 50 times? solidify the way like like I feel like if it freezes it'll be like ice cream because the products in here are already emulsified like an ice cream so it shouldn't freeze like rock solid well I'm not gonna sweeten it anymore it's perfect do I have enough for my cake though I think it's gonna be pretty thin maybe I'll add the rest of the whip now I'm really using everything up which is awesome I'll just lick this container when I'm not on camera. Actually, don't worry, I'm not serving this pie to anybody. I'm gonna eat it all to myself. That's why I'm double dipping my fingers and licking the spoon. Okay, this has been in the freezer, just getting colder and we'll pour this in now. Ooh. All right, let's get this in the freezer and I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half, hour 45. It seems like it's frozen. I can kind of press it with my finger, but it's solid, which means it's like still soft enough to eat. And the moment of truth is opening the spring form pan. Oh, so easy, I love these pans. Oh my God, I'm so excited to eat this. Ooh, I gotta get a good shot of this. Ooh. See, now it needs some kind of topping, like something interesting on the top. Mint leaves. I have raspberries, frozen raspberries. There still might be enough light for me to get a good photo. It's really hard to get a good photo, so I'm just gonna cut into this thing. I'm scared. I just put a little piece of mint on top. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it would've come off. I was afraid it was gonna stick to the bottom, but it's not, which means I could put it on this thing. <gasps> Look at that. It's melting pretty quick. Mmm. I'm gonna put that back in the freezer. Oh my God, it's so good. I wonder if I can get a better photo. I'm gonna try that over here. Lights out. Daylight only. 
Oh man, so good. Is this my dinner? I don't know, it's like 8.30. I mean, I wanted to eat this two hours ago, but I had to wait for it to to freeze. Oh my God. Okay, well, I have quite a number of dishes to do. And I'll keep you posted if I eat anything else. So much for the dentist. <laughs> but I floss every night. I promise you, I have to floss. Okay, well, it's 10 o'clock and I'm just gonna eat my leftover tostada and some old fruit that was in the fridge. <laughs> I had half of an orange that I never ate at breakfast. And I have this little bit of an apple. So that's what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Someone commented on my last what I ate in a day and they said, what they say? They said, maybe you don't eat that much because you have to shoot it for what I ate in a day. And I just thought about that right now and you're probably right because it's 10, 15. If I wasn't gonna shoot a video, I might actually like bake something. Plus I already made two things today and it's late. Anyway, if I wasn't gonna have to shoot it, I probably would make something. But now I'm just being lazy. Anyway, that was what I ate in a day. Plus you got like, Two recipes in one. Good night. See you later.